What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys. And as you guys can see behind me, we're going to be rocking out with some NCAA 06 football here today on the channel. And I was just wondering, man, just thinking, you know, going over some video ideas, and I just was like, yo, I wonder if we resumed a certain season in history, will the player who won the Heisman that year actually still be able to walk away with the hardware? And I'd figured there's no better place to start than Reggie Bush's 05 season. And there's a lot of controversy surrounding it, being as though they did vacate that Heisman trophy. Also during that season, he will win the Dope Walker, the Walter Camp, of course the Heisman, AP Player of the Year, Sporting News Player of the Year, and then he will win his second Pac-10 Offensive Player of the Year, as well as becoming a two-time All-American. He would also become just the 17th player in NCAA history to gain 2,000 all-purpose yards in two different seasons. 2330 in 2004, then the 2890 in 2005. Now here's a look at the real life schedule for USC this year, and who Reggie Bush has a chance to really, you know, just completely kill. We got Hawaii, we got we got Hawaii, Arkansas, Oregon, Arizona State, Arizona, Notre Dame, Washington, Washington State, Stanford, Cal, Fresno State, and UCLA. Now, as one would expect, Reggie Bush is on the Heisman watch list here in the preseason to start off, along with his teammate, Matt Leiner. Reggie Bush is also a first-team preseason All-American, as well as being first-team preseason All-Pac-10. Now, we're going to go ahead and simulate this week by week, checking in with Reggie Bush, seeing what he did, and then also keeping track of him going up and down on the Heisman watch list. Won't be too in-depth every single week, but, you know, just so we can go ahead and follow along all right boys so taking a look at the first game of the season usc beats hawaii 38 21 reggie bush is the player of the game for usc 31 carries 214 yards two touchdowns 55 catches all right boys so take a look at the heisman watch list after just our first game of the season everybody stays put except ted Ginn moves off the list and then Riggs from tennessee moves up into the fifth slot all right we got to buy this week next game will be against arkansas all right boys game number two is in the books USC, even though they didn't lose, moves down to number two in the nation, but we beat Arkansas 50 to 28. Take a look at another game. Reggie Bush, 33 carries, 187 yards, 62 yards through the air with three total touchdowns. Come over here to the Heisman watch list. Matt Liner is staying put as the number one guy on the list. Reggie Bush went down somehow, and is now in the fourth spot, but he, you know, just recently made his way up. Vince Young is in the second slot, and as you can see, they're showing a lot of love to the QBs right now early on this season. All right, boys, next game is a conference game against Oregon on the road. Let's see what we can do. All right, boys, game number three is in the books versus Oregon. Reggie Bush with another 28 carries, 128 yards. 28 reception yards, three total touchdowns once again. All right, boys, so take a look at the Heisman watch list. Three games in, Reggie Bush is finally at the top spot. 92 carries so far this season, 529 yards, six receptions, 145 yards, eight total touchdowns. All right, boys, so game number four versus Arizona State. Reggie Bush has another 27 carries, 155 yards, two touchdowns, two catches for 49 yards through the air. USC wins big by 21-28-7. So Reggie Bush remains the top guy on the top of the watch list. Him and Drew Tate remain the top two guys. All the other movement was below the first two spots. All right, boys, five games in here in week seven, still undefeated, 31-13. Reggie Bush gets another player of the game, 32 carries, 140 yards, four touchdowns all on the ground. As one would suspect, Reggie Bush remains the top guy on the Heisman watch list, but don't let this fool you, man. You could be that top guy the whole entire time, and EA will find a way to say, whoop, let me get that. That's not your Heisman. This is going to be a big, big game here, actually, boys. We got Notre Dame, who's not having the greatest of seasons, but this is a rivalry game, and at any moment, they could really stop Reggie Bush or and or shut him down. All right, boys, so big win by USC here. Halfway mark of the season, 6-0. 32-25 over Notre Dame. Reggie Bush, another 25 carries, another 150 on the ground. Two touchdowns, boys. And you see here, Reggie Bush is actually on the cover of Sports Illustrated right now. And, and officially, the bowl rankings are out, the inaugural ones of the season. But what we care about most is who's at the top of the Heisman watch list. And it is Reggie Bush. And then Torian Henderson is going to overtake the second spot over Drew Tate, who just had a very, very trash game uh, versus, uh, versus Indiana. And as if we didn't already know this, there's nothing Reggie Bush can't do. You can see he's making a tackle here on one of the pages on Sports Illustrated. But take a look at the halfway mark stats for Reggie Bush. He's got 176 carries, so of course he's on pace to have more than what he had in real life. You know what I mean? I can't really control that as much. 
974 yards, 14 touchdowns, five and a half yards of carry. Did fumble the ball once through the air, nine catches, 198 yards, no touchdowns. Take a look at what he's doing in the return game. 431 yards on the kick return game, 25 yards and uh, a return with one touchdown. He also has a pump return touchdown as well. All right, guys, the winning ways continue here in week nine, game seven, 49-17. Reggie Bush for the first time does not win player of the game. He wasn't a player of the game, but he still had 26 carries, 145 yards, two touchdowns, and another 16 reception yards, and he remains the number one guy on the Heisman list. All right, boys, so game against Washington State. Reggie Bush, 22 carries, 160 yards, two touchdowns, doing the thing. I would assume that he's still at the top of the Heisman list. I mean, we're going to check, like I said at the beginning. And in the future, if you guys want me to just, like, send it every couple weeks and then check, y'all let me know, too. But I like seeing the week to week. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, only people that are moving are always going to be below him because Reggie Bush is controlling the narrative and doing what he's doing. But he's the best running back in the game for a reason. All right, boys, so week 11, 9-0. Just got a win versus Stanford. Lindell White is actually going to be this game's player of the game with 21 carries, 128 yards, two touchdowns. Okay, so is Reggie Bush injured or did he just not have as big of a game? Let's go ahead and check that. Eight carries, 95 yards in the touchdown. Uh, doesn't say he's injured, so that's a, that's a plus. But, you know, his teammate went off, and kudos to him. We tip our, we tip our cap. All right, boys, so what a surprising loss. And what a terrible time to get that loss late in the season. So we definitely won't be repeating as, you know, national championship runner-ups because we just lost to Cal by seven. Reggie Bush had 24 carries, 131 yards of touchdown, another four catches for 78 yards in a touchdown through the air, but it ultimately was not enough to beat the five and five Cal Bears, bro. You see here, man, they got Reggie Bush on the Sports Illustrated downed. Cal proves once again that games aren't played on paper. But when it comes to the ultimate goal and while right here, the Heisman watch list, Reggie Bush remains the top dog as he continues to just do everything on the field for USC. All right, boys. So we went ahead and simmed the rest of the season and USC fumbled the bag twice late in the year. We ended up losing again our last game to UCLA. As you see here, they do win the Pac-10 championship, though. Uh, we don't care about recruiting. But, you know, Fresno State game was one of the games. Reggie Bush, 28 carries, 161 yards, a touchdown, 73 yards through the air with another touchdown. And the UCLA game where we lost by three. Matt Leinart is the player of the game with 357, four touchdowns. Heading into the championship week, Reggie Bush is the guy, the man, the myth, the legend, the favorite to win the Heisman. All right, boys. So we sim through the championship week. Reggie Bush does win the returner of the year. Reggie Bush also walks away with the Dope Walker. Reggie Bush also walks away with the Maxwell. So we've pretty much gotten all the awards we got in real life, except for the one. We will be in the Sugar Bowl. So they made it to a BCS uh, game, even at number 16 in the nation. But here's the moment we've all been waiting for, boys. The Heisman Trophy Ceremony. Let's see what we got. Whoa, Reggie Bush gets... Oh, no, okay. These are the finalists. Oh, my God. I thought that was the winner. I was about to say, who is this dude from Texas Tech, bro? All right, he's the five finalists, man. Here we go. Or is it six? I can't count. Here we go. The winner is Reggie Bush as expected, boys. All right. All right. Not going back to the natty. Won't be a, a rematch of the Texas-USC game. But Reggie Bush gets the job done, and he wins the national championship. I'm sorry. Excuse me. What am I talking about? And he wins the Heisman Award. Absolute landslide. 605 first place votes. Next closest was going to be Hodges from Texas Tech with 94. 2,139 total points as Reggie Bush easily wins the, tro the Heisman Trophy. Sort of like what he did in real life. All right, boys. We're going to go ahead and compare the stats. Of his regular of his real season IRL and what he did here during this resim. So already he had 101 more carries than what he did in real life. He only had 200 carries, but he literally had the exact same rushing yards with those same amount of carries. 1740 yards on the nose. That's insane. The game got that right. He had 37 receptions for 478 yards, two touchdowns. He had 22 receptions for 422 yards. Here in the semi, he had 22 receptions, 422 yards. He had another two touchdowns. 
He averaged 12.9 yards a catch uh, IRL, 19.2 yards a catch here. Then we're going to take a look at the kick return game really quick. 37 returns, 822 yards, a touchdown. IRL, 28 returns, 493 yards, 17.6 yards a, uh, a return, no touchdowns. And then punt returns, 28 for 282, 10.1 in the touchdown. IRL, 18 for 179, 9.9 .9 in the touchdown. So pretty similar. EA Sports pretty much got it right, man. So I would think and I would say that this sim was a success. We were able to duplicate Reggie Bush's magical Heisman season that they vacated, but they shouldn't, especially with the new NIL rules. But it is what it is. We already know in my heart, Reggie Bush will always be the 2005 Heisman winner. You guys let me know down in the comment section below more Sims, more ideas, more players that you guys want to see with some of these older NCAAs, and I'll be sure to make that happen. So if you enjoyed this, man, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you are new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Hey. <laughs> niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies, and it ain't no properly. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block gon' get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody.